Hey guys, this is gonna be a real quick video on how to modify the Napa air compressor. Uh, they used to have the Maxi Track air compressor. I think they still do. Uh, they may have deleted it, I don't know. This is the exact same compressor. This is the same as a lot of the Chinese compressors out there. So let's modify it so that you can run it on a pressure, pressure, pressure switch and then it'll have automatic cutoff and I'm actually gonna be modifying mine so that I can do four tires at the same time. So real quick, let me show you what wires to mess with. All right, so you're gonna take the cover off. There's, let's see, two screws on this cover, two screws on the backside cover. You're gonna to have to unthread the uh, little, you know, the air hose that it comes with, this thing here. There we go, that's the right side. It's got some, uh, kind of like a thread locker, so it's kind of hard to get off. Um, so you might battle with it a little bit. Now I installed my presser, pressure, Jesus Christ, pressure switch on the outside. Some people drill and tap this. I didn't want to mess with that. If you do that, you have to take these caps off, flip it upside down, drill, tap it, all that mess. I'm just putting it on the outside and I'll just be careful not to knock it off. So this board is a little bit different than the maxi track board and that you can see that it's got these white wires that go to the switch out front so i made sure that i cut the correct wires if you don't cut the correct wires then uh, basically this little connector where it goes into the motherboard there you'd have to just flip that around um, but if you look at it it will make sense to you look at which sides the power which side turns off on the switch and what you want to do is you want to cut the wires that are on the power side. So once you cut those wires, you just you know solder in two uh, jump jumpers here, and those are going to go to the outside to your pressure switch. So I just wired these up um, with the little connectors that the pressure switch came with, and push those on. Just cut them afterwards so that I knew what uh, length I needed them. But that is all that you have to do. Just those white wires that go to the switch, run those to your pressure switch. And on this one, I've already modified it, so I've got the quick disconnect. Now I can run any hose off of it, you know, any normal, you know, standard air hose. And the way that I tested it, just real quick, is I took it out to my vehicle, connected the positive to the positive, negative to the negative, turned on the switch, and it should just run for like a second because it's going to reach that shutoff safety on your pressure switch. I wonder if I could say pressure switch any more times like during this video. And it should turn off. If it doesn't turn off after like a second, turn it off because you probably have it wired incorrectly. That's when you need to switch it on the board and then you should be good to go. So that's the quick and dirty on how to modify the new Napa compressor. If this helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. There's lots of information out there as far as what connectors that you need to put on here. If you guys want, I can put that on there. It's, it's nothing major. So thanks, guys.